So a few weeks ago, I wrote an article called Why I'm Buying a Nokia Lumia 920 Instead of an iPhone 5. Well, if nothing else, I am a man of my word. I'm Michael Fisher. This is PocketNow.com. And this is the Nokia Lumia 920 that I just bought at the AT&T store. Let's pop open the box and see what it has to offer. So before we pop open the box, just a few words on that AT&T in-store experience. Uh, there was a long line outside the Apple store for the iPad mini, but there was also a line outside the AT&T store for the Lumia 920. Not just for service and repair or the other things that retail stores normally take care of. A lot of people were there specifically to buy the 920. So that was good to see. When we got in there, uh, things were a little bit disappointing. There were no demo units of the 920 or any of the new Windows Phone 8 on the floor. There was a ton of stuff for the uh, Lumia 9. 900 and the existing Windows Phone 7 line, nothing for Windows Phone 8 on the floor. Additionally, uh, there were on, the only colors that were available were white, black, and red, not the cyan I wanted, nor the gray I wanted as a backup, and uh, they only had the JBL power-up speaker dock in black. They didn't have that in cyan or uh, white. Um, finally, the wireless charging plate that AT&T is offering for free when you buy a Lumia 920 on a contract was also uh, not in stock, but to AT&T's credit, they did uh, offer to ship it to me, and I took them up on that, so that should be arriving in three to five days. Uh, kind of a mixed bag on the in-store experience. Certainly a pleasant one, but um, didn't exactly feel complete. So AT&T hasn't gone out of its way to impress anybody with its recent uh, packaging design, and that holds true for the box on the Lumia 920. Visually, it's fine, but it's made out of very, very cheap, flimsy-feeling cardboard, and uh, it's just, uh, it's, it's not a premium unboxing experience, but that holds true for pretty much everything from AT&T these days, as I said, with the exception of the iPhone. Uh, this is the, the product pictured on the back. It looks like the black one is there on all of these boxes, but on the side here, you can see the device color is called out uh, readily. Well, it's, it's enough of checking out this unimpressive box. Let's just pull the flap open. We have a quick start guide here. Put that off to the side. Texting and driving, it can wait. Good advice, as always, on the screen protector there. This is the 920 itself. As you can see, I got the gloss white version because the cyan and gray were not available, as I mentioned before. Let's put that aside. See what else is in the box. Here's your SIM door key. Pop open the rest of the box. Oh, very nice. A little NFC uh, tag here. Very, very nice. What do you want to learn more about? This is a... Uh, what is this? I don't know what this is. This is just a postcard. That's all this is. There are no NFC tags or anything like this. I thought maybe you could tap the phone into each one of these tiles. But maybe I'm just crazy. Product and safety information. And... A wall charger, USB cable. Wow, nothing else going on here. No headphones, nothing extra. Um, this could just as easily be a box for a mid-range or low-end product. Uh, really nothing special about the packaging. But thankfully, we're not here to look at just the packaging. We're here to look at the Lumia 920. Once again, in gloss white. Screen protector on the front. Uh, back protector on the back with callouts for the phone's various features here. Obviously calling out the USB port, calls out the camera, power, and volume keys. Um, good response on these, as we remember from our hands-on time in New York City. Really, really good feedback, and the buttons are cool to the touch. Very nice. You can see the Nokia Smile design here with the speaker grills and USB port on the bottom, as, long as, some, as well as some uh, Torx screws there. Here's that 8.7 megapixel camera. Nokia informs us that they have changed the metal on this uh, to prevent the easy scratching that uh, was happening on the Lumia 800 and 900. SIM tray up here. My SIM has already been installed by AT&T. Thank you, guys. Headphone jack up top, obviously, as well. And we're back to the front. So let's go ahead and take the screen protector off. My favorite part of unboxing a device. Listen to that. That's great sound. And while we're doing that, why don't we go ahead and take it off on the back here. And the last thing we'll do in this unboxing is do our first boot. Obviously, the phone came from the AT&T store. We decided to go a little bit different. Uh, we are we do have another review unit that we're doing the full review on, but uh, this is a retail demo. Three, two, one. This is one I bought at the AT&T retail store, so it is running final, presumably, final AT&T software 
So this is a boot time test for the production version. So I had a little bit of a problem there. The SIM card was not seated properly in the SIM tray, so I had to use the included SIM key to pop that tray out, reseat the SIM card. And for those of you who like your uh, boot times to be timed accurately with final software, we're just gonna do this again. One, two, three. There's a little vibration buzz. We'll see the AT&T splash screen again. And I noticed uh, in my several attempts when I was kind of fiddling with the SIM card using the, uh, the quick start guide and things like that to make sure it was facing the right direction that uh, the boot time is considerably faster when the SIM card is seated properly. So this should be coming right up here. Still not a speed demon on the boot time as you can see. We're coming up on, uh, well, it feels like about 15, uh, 15 seconds or so. I think I've, uh, I've read elsewhere and I've heard from other members of our team the total boot time is hanging somewhere between 20 and 30 seconds. So. Obviously not the fastest phone uh, to boot ever, but um, that is a trivial concern for most folks. Welcome to your Windows phone. I have signal bars, and thankfully the SIM card looks seated properly. Looks like I can get started setting up my new Nokia Lumia 920. Guys, thanks for watching our unboxing video of the AT&T Lumia 920 from Nokia running Windows Phone 8. If you want to follow us on Twitter, do that. PocketNowTweets is the official Twitter account. My Twitter account is at Captain2Phones. That's Captain, the number two phones. And make sure that you give us a thumbs up if you like the video. If you want to leave a comment, please do so on the post at PocketNow.com. And stay tuned. We have a lot more coverage on the 920, the 810, the 822, all the Windows phones you can think of, in addition to the usual slew of Android and iOS devices that we cover every single day at Pocket Now. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon.